Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing Painting. Thanks for joining us in the video today. Today we're going to talk about a couple spots that you cannot ever use a pressure washer in. Right here, we are working under this cabana right here. Beautiful cabana to a beautiful home. And we have some electronics. We got some lighting. Um, there's actually uh, some type of screens that can automatically come down to make this an enclosure to protect from insects. So obviously you can't use a pressure washer in here, but sometimes these things need cleaned and these wood frames could get mold and mildew, dirt dust, dirt divers and stuff like that. And you cannot come in here and use a pressure washer. So we're gonna talk about the ways that we get this clean without using a pressure washer. So, and it's the old fashioned way guys, basically set up a ladder, get some brushes, wet damp rags, buckets and that sort of thing. And it's a bunch of hand scrubbing. So. You're going to have to um, not use any bleach solution on some of this wood. If you do, you're going to change it colors, no doubt. Exactly wherever you spray that bleach solution is going to change those colors. And you can have to use some alternative cleaners, more like some 409s and things like that, and sponges and scrub brushes and stuff like that. So basically, we would first start out getting all of our dirt divers nest off. Um, Sometimes they'll be on some light fixtures and intertwined in there. And they get they get hard as a rock and they're hard to clean up. You know, like uh, you actually got to go physically knock them off or remove them with your hand and using sticks and that sort of thing. Um, I seen a long time ago, one guy tried to pressure wash something similar to this and it did not work out for him. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Never use a pressure washer in here. There's no, you, I don't think you could cover up enough stuff in here to uh, to make a pressure washer feasible. And you got things like this. That's not going to handle water at all. So that being said, you need to be able to charge enough to um, hand clean this stuff. You know, could take uh, a guy all day long in here by himself. Uh, a couple guys may take a good half a day, five hours to get this clean. Once we clean the top. We'll brush all the uh, balls and columns down. And then you got to think about all this stuff falling on these tables and chairs. That's not going to be a good uh, idea just to leave it there. So you have to pull them out, take all of this off, um, sweep it off, move everything down to the floor. You got obviously all these bar stools here in this outdoor kitchen area. All of that's going to have to be checked for dirt divers nest and lost nest and everything else and then all the debris that you're knocking down so it's a bunch of hand wiping now once we get finished with everything with that this travestine or whatever floor you're dealing with we can trickle some water down on this floor and kind of use a scrub brush with some dawn soap or, or maybe some surfactant just kind of clean it up scrub it out and then give it a final mop afterwards and basically what you want to do you don't want to be using a spraying water but you want to more or less use a flowing water so basically we will lay our water hose here on the floor somewhere flat on the floor boom let it slant on the floor no nozzle on it and let it just flow that water out and then you move that water around with a mop scrub brushes whatever you got to do to uh, get it nice and clean and then just come back with a final mop bucket and uh, get everything nice and clean and dry it up and that's the only way you do it, is hand cleaning some guys may not want to deal with this because you can't come in here with a power washer and surface cleaners and all of our fancy tools and toys to get it clean but sometimes the old-fashioned elbow grease gets it done and a project like this is about 650 dollars we'll be here about three and a half four hours and we'll be on to our next one now that being said it's not a lot of money um, you know, as far as uh, per hour rate as we could do when we are using our power washers and surface cleaners. But this also keeps your client happy and lets them know that you can handle all of their cleaning needs, especially the exterior cleaning needs. Again, guys, please check out our links in the description. Check out our resource pages. You've got some new stuff on there. If you're interested in it, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washer Painting. I hope to see you in the next video.